It's been a long time since I've been to a rap battle. Um, I kind of it inspires somebody to take their game up. It it could be considered problematic, being that you know a lot of times it's all um, ego, um, ego, ego uh, is is sort of what's what's pushing um, the artist. In, in that case, to outdo the other artist, but there's definitely something kind of raw and, and uh, inspired from a very natural um, source of of, uh, of creative spirit. That that if it's done right, you know, and if somebody's coming from the top and just flowing in the moment that's 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 worth uh worth catching for sure it's like a boxing match you know there's an artistry in in boxing for sure jiu-jitsu you know it's one-on-one -on -one. and uh you know there's 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 rules and and you have to uh you gotta play by them you can't you know you can't hit the other artist you can't generally you can't even touch them you can threaten them you know you can try to get in their head but when it comes down to it, you can't uh, can't mess with them. Um, you know, you can't physically um, come at them. So that's that's my two cents. What do you like most about poetry? I think it's um, sort of a uh, a way to describe, observe lyrically or linguistically appreciate something uh, it's a way to uh, to come closer to something through this linguistic appreciation or lyrical description and you never actually touch the object. Poetry is just another medium. So just like music or just like the, the words that we use when we're writing poetry, it's just a medium. It's, it's just a symbol of the object that we're observing. So we never really get there. We're always trying, we're always aspiring, we're always efforting or working, laboring to um, describe that thing. How does your poetry touch people's lives? I I hope that, that it, it gives people a chance to um, share their song, their their poem, their observations. I hope that it uh, inspires people to uh, pay closer attention to their experience or experiences and uh, and try to pick up on the texture of these experiences, everything that they touch and feel. And uh, the the range of colors, the range of feelings, the range of uh, angles and and uh, edges and um, pain and um, struggle and um, love and I hope it inspires people to connect with with all that which is within them and which is within the the range of their personal experiences. Why should they come out to visit your channels? We'll be connecting with a, a live poet, a poet who is alive currently here in the now, someone who's um, still still developing and I think it's more gratifying to, to see and support and uh, connect with an artist who's working and developing through the, the process rather than you know, somebody who's already peaked and uh, I'm definitely somebody who's just just developing. I'm, I'm just just beginning. What's the name of your blog? Philip Dane Poetry at YouTube, Facebook or Twitter or uh, www.philipyergi.com Thank you. Thank you kindly, good sir. What's your phone number? <laughs> just kidding. <laughs> Yeah. <laughs>
devil. Don't <laughs> keep that one. Yeah, well, it's really good to see that you're a down to earth live poet who is a touchable, relatable, empowering poet that you just.